It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. A bunch of far leftists found it in an autonomous zone in Seattle. And of course, I found like a lot of juicy stuff to show to you guys. Because honestly, when I saw that stuff for the first time on social media, I just could not honestly believe just how batshit crazy it was. So, without further hesitation, let's dig in. The first thing that immediately caught my attention was this clip where this one guy was just asking like a bunch of white people to pay black people $10 because apparently they have the oppression points. And so, when I saw that video for the first time, I honestly was just laughing out loud just how ridiculous it was. Okay, I want you to find by the end of, by the time you leave this autonomous zone, I want you to give $10 to one African American person from this autonomous zone. And if you find that's difficult, if you find it's hard for you to give $10 to people of color, to black people especially, you have to think really critically about in the future, are you gonna actually give up power and land and capital when you have it? If you are if you have a hard time giving up $10, you gotta think about, are you really down with this struggle? Are you really down with the movement? Because if that is a challenge for you, then I'm unsure if you're in the right place. So find an African-American person, the white people, I see you. I see every single one of you, and I remember your faces. You find that African-American person and you give them $10. Cash App, Venmo, $10 in your pocket. That's my challenge to you. Throughout the whole entire clip, I was just thinking to myself, how could he possibly think so low of black people to say, well, geez, white people, you need to pay black people about $10 because you see, these black people, they cannot survive without you, so that's why you need to pay them $10. And I'm just sitting to myself and thinking, they have such low bigotry of low expectation because honestly, when I see stuff like this, when I see news about YouTube wanting to give like black people money because they're a black YouTuber, I'm just kind of, you know, disgusted. And I'm kind of disgusted because it kind of signalized to me that people who are black cannot make it out without the white guy, and that is not true. That is not true. We know for a fact that there's like tons and tons of celebrities who are very successful, who are minorities, who are black, who made it without the white man. We know for a fact that there's like a lot of people in government who were black who made it without the white man. We know for a fact that a lot of people who in high position of power who are black. So, I feel insulted that they think that I cannot make it without the white man. And that's not true. I don't need a white man to be successful on YouTube. I don't need a white man to have a career. I don't need a white man for anything. So, please, keep your bigotry of low expectations to yourself. Because sorry guys, that does not work on me. That does not work on me at all. This garden is for blacks and indigenous folks and plant allies. Honestly, this thing reminds me so much about the past. Because in the past, we all know that they were in separate movie theaters, they were separate restaurants, they were separate universities based upon skin color. Having this type of separation is going back to the time where all those kind of stuff actually existed. How is this is any way progressive? Because to me, what you're trying to do is separate people by their race. How is this at all anything liberal? Because to me, what you really want to have is to pass where people are separated by skin color. And that to me is not okay. 
everybody should be treated the same, no matter their race, no matter their orientation. So stop using this sort of segregation tactic against people. I hate it that universities have separate centers based upon skin color. All you see, this is a black center. This is an Asian center. This is a social center. No, nobody needs those kind of centers. Everybody should be treated the same. We will form a unique system called a Conflict Resolution Advisory Council. Number one, we will hold a democratic vote to appoint three people to the council to eliminate prejudice we will elect one black man, one black woman, and one white woman. Each person should undergo at least one 45-minute sensitivity and political training session which we can help organize. Number two, whenever there is an internal conflict in a zone, it is put to the council both people will have an opportunity to present their side of the story to the council to review. Number three, the council members will decide on a fair resolution and provide it as advice. Initially, the council will be advisory only. In the future, the system could be involved into a more mature with binding resolution and positions, enforcements, and imprisonments. Edit one. After receiving feedback about inclusiveness, we shall include in the council one black man, one black woman, one trans person, and one non-binary black person. I find it so fascinating that they say that they want inclusiveness. However, all the people that they want are just black people. You can't say that you guys are inclusive by just having black people. But it's kind of funny also, because it's not just black people that are minorities in this country. There are Asian people and these other kind of groups that are also minorities. So aren't you not excluding people who are like Native Americans or Asians or Hispanics by just having all just black people as part of that whole entire group? Here's a clip of these same people who formed this whole entire autonomous community in Seattle choking out a guy who was like some sort of street pastor or whatever. The whole entire time I was just watching that clip, I was just thinking to myself, how could you say you guys are against police brutality and how they treat people and their citizens but at the same time, employed these same sort of tactics that you guys criticize the police for. Now, don't get me wrong. I also do not like how some people just choke people out for police brutality. That is awful. But honestly, you guys are no different than the people you criticize. You can't say you want to abolish the police, you want to defund the police and all that jazz, while also doing the exact same thing that you criticize the police for. That is hypocritical to me. God, this is so bad. This is just so bad. You know, in a way, I'm actually glad that these kind of stupid people abolish the police and replace it with this. Because right here, we have real life examples of what would happen if people did in fact abolish the police. And now we can point at them and laugh and say, hey, you know, Maybe abolishing the police is actually a bad idea because you can see right here, the outcomes are not that great because you guys are just discriminating people based upon their race. You're calling people, of course, like these awful names. Just, wow. The final clip 
that I want to show you guys is, of course, a person that call like a black guy a race traitor just because he has the American flag. This whole entire clip of these people just calling that black guy a race traitor just because he has an American flag is just yet another example of the racism that the far, far left have. Of course, Biden is an example of this really, really bad racism. Their actions, of course, of having separate gardens based upon race, this idea of electing people on the console because of the whole entire freaking race stuff, and these other kind of examples are just why I just I don't like the far left at all. Because the far left, obviously, they have such low expectations of minorities. They have such racial hatred of minorities. And that's why I can never, ever get behind any type of far, far left movement. Obviously, I'm a liberal. I could get behind like liberal stuff, but this is too far. This is too far. You can't just call somebody a race traitor just because they have the American flag. You can't just have separate gardens based upon racist stuff. So please guys, cut it out. Just cut it out. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.